Hello Makers, since many of us now are stuck at home, um, I figured, well, well, I'll do something around the house. So what I've done is I, I went through a few things around the house to see what I can fix. My hood tub is my number one priority at the moment. So hood tubs have to be installed at a maximum height from your, you know, cooktop and a maximum distance down um, in order to have the best ability to, you know, suck up all the fumes while you're cooking. Now, this is the maximum height I could do mine and I cannot do it lower because then obviously I just, you know, it'll be right in front of my face. The only problem is, is this, well, these corners right here, whenever I'm cooking for some reason, I tend to literally bang my head against these. And as I had my camera here set up um, to do kind of like act out what would happen usually, I actually did hit my head and it hurt quite a lot and actually split a bit my head open. So yeah, that's a, that's a common thing. So what I want to do is, I want to do brackets around here, something that sort of will cushion the blow. Next are the chairs. Now recently I installed these PVC wood, well the wood, wood flooring, um, because we had tiles and the chairs used to do a lot of noise when moving them. It still does quite a bit of noise. And I don't want to, I don't want to bother, you know, the people downstairs. So I just want to make some, like some covers We're we're a bit too bright. They're better. Uh, I just want to do some covers, some TPU covers, you know, just to cushion them a little bit and also protect, protect the PVC. And finally it's, well, this. Um, all our doors kind of like slam against the walls or tiles. This is not bad because it's a tile, but we have gypsum in other rooms. I don't want to drill holes in the floor to do stoppers. Uh, one, it's a hassle. Two, if we decide to sell the place, you know, stuff like that. Um, it can be bothersome to some people. What I have done in the past are these things right here, printed in TPU, which just go in here and they can just bounce off. Um, now I want to reprint these in a different color because blue, you know, just doesn't go. Um, and also we show you how to print them. The reason why I do these and not door wedges is because wedges tend to be used to keep the door open. Um, if it's slammed, it tends to just slide and still hit the wall. So these, easy, quick print, and yeah. And seeing as I have some um, Vertigo Gray Flexville TPU, uh, which is an absolutely gorgeous color. And I also have the Hemera, so I have absolutely no problem printing in TPU. I'm gonna show you guys how to very, very easily and quickly design these three things in Fusion 360 and, you know, start getting your hands a bit dirty. So we're gonna start off with the door handles. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to go onto the top pane here and we're gonna create a sketch. We're gonna do a circle. Now, the diameter of the door handle was about 19.26, so I'm gonna go slightly less than that. I'm gonna go 19 because I do want it to be as tight as possible so it doesn't swivel around. So we'll do 19. Then I'm gonna do another circle. Um, we'll do this a little bit less. We'll do this 15, something like that. Next, I'm going to press O for offset and we're gonna do it to five millimeters. And I'm gonna do the same for this one here, another five millimeters. And that's basically the sketch. Now all I need to do is extrude. I'm gonna extrude that, that, and that. I'm gonna extrude about 10 millimeters, just like that. Next, all I'm gonna do is just select these two joining parts here. I'm gonna do fill it. And I'm just gonna open them a little bit like that. I'll click OK, and then I'm gonna take the edges on both sides. And I'm going to chamfer them by, let's say about one millimeter is enough. There you have it. That's, 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 that's it. For the chair feet, I did the same thing. I measured um, both the length and the width of, a, of all, the, all the legs, basically. Now, the back legs of the chairs have a bit of an incline. So apart from taking the measurements, I also did something else. I kind of took a photo of the leg of the chair just to see the angle that it's at. Um, because I want to use this as a perspective in order to be able to do the right angle when I am designing the object. So to do the back chair legs, I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna 
choose this piece right here and then I'm going to insert a canvas. I'm going to insert from my computer and I'm going to choose the photo. I'm going to select the pane that it goes on to and I'm going to just move it around a bit and enlarge it but that's going to be fixed. The only thing what I want to do is make sure that it's um, that it's level just you know, to get an idea. So that's, let's do minus four, hmm, possibly minus three degrees. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Next, what I want to do is go on canvas. I'm going to highlight it and right click to calibrate. So this, what I want to do is make this canvas, uh, the same size as the actual, um, um, uh, as the actual leg itself. So I'm going to take the front corner here as the first part and the second corner there and I get to input the measurements, the exact measurements, which should be roughly 36 millimeters. So now I actually have that perfectly. So next I'm going to draw a line. We'll start from here. That's fine. And we'll stop right there. Then I can draw a line from there. Uh, to about there. That's fine. I'm just going to do that line over there, there, and then connect it to there. Perfect. So now we kind of have the angle. Next, once again, I'm going to offset that. So I'm going to offset that by, I'd say, three, millim three millimeters should be enough. I'm going to draw another line parallel to that one, then another one here same thing and finish the sketch. Next, what I want to do is extrude that by the same length as the, uh, the, the, the chair foot or the chair leg. That's roughly about 29.5. So I'm going to do 29.2. Perfect. Then I'm going to re-enable the sketch. I'm going to select one, two, and three. I'm going to extrude by three millimeters. There you have it. Next, I'm just gonna create a sketch over here. Close this off. Finish, and then once again, do the same thing and extrude by three millimeters. If I cancel, if I remove, the sketch lines on the canvas, as you can see, I have the foot, which is ready. Um, and the same thing goes for the front legs. Um, but that's a little bit easier because they're in a straight line. So all I have to do is just design a box with the measurements, extrude, same as I did here, and it's done. Now for the hood top, um, all I need is the thickness of the hood top itself, which is about 54 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to create a sketch and on the front pane here. Um, and we're going to do that. That and that. We're just going to draw a triangle over there. We're going to offset that triangle by pressing O. And we're going to offset that by Say I'm going to do 10 millimeters because I want enough cushion there. <laughs> uh, it hurts quite a lot when I hit my head. So yeah, that, that's going to work. Um, then I'm going to draw a line there. To close that off, another line there to close that off. Then what I also want to do is I'm going to grab that corner over there, draw a line from one side and the other. And I'll explain exactly why I'm doing that because then I'm going to create a circle. I'll do a two point circle and grab that one there and that one there. So next I'm going to extrude. I want to extrude all of those 54 millimeters, which is the thickness uh, of the hood. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to re-enable the sketches. And once again, I'm going to select all of these. And that, and I'm going to make these also 10 millimeters thick. I also want to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to draw a line here to close this off. I'm going to finish the sketch. And once again, I'm going to extrude that and that by 10 millimeters. So now what I want to do is 
grab these. And I'm going to use the chamfer tool, sorry, use the fillet tool in order to make it a bit, you know, more round. And that's basically it. Um, and this prints in this orientation, so I'm not worried about overhangs. It's quite thick because I want to have very little info because I want it to be as soft as possible. TPU 97A, I believe, um, is, is the shortness of the TPU, so it's still a bit tough, but it's still gonna be better than the corner of um, a glass uh, in my head. So yeah, this is gonna be a much softer bump. So yeah, I'm gonna throw these in um, on the Ender 3 with the Hamera mount. I'm also going to dry the TPU a little bit and set it off to print. Who's that? Did mom put lipstick on and kiss you goodbye? I know. And that is it guys. I hope this video inspires you to open up Fusion 360 and, and do some stuff. It's, it's so easy. So just you just need to get your hands dirty. Just, you know, just look around the house. Try to find something easy that you can fix with 3D printing. And it, it happens constantly around the house. And now is the time because, well, as I said, we're all stuck at home, so might as well get productive. That is it from my end, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And as always, happy making, guys.